So, we have arrived once more to Deer Lake Astronomy Village, and I will be camping and spending the night here again. So, here we are. Gonna go get set up for the night. Sorry, just getting set up at Deer Lake again tonight. Got my uh, 80 millimeter for photography again. Probably gonna go after something in Orion or around Orion, maybe like the Rosette Nebula, the Cone Nebula, um, or the Orion Nebula itself. And then I've also brought for visual my old Dobsonian, which I've had for over 17 years, more than half my life, going on uh, 18 years, so yeah, I just collimated it, so it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can see with a little bit of visual with the daub. Um, and then here's my tent set up. See, there's where I'll be sleeping, there's a little inflatable pad under that. So uh, yeah, and here's the field today. So it looks uh, pretty good. Nice wide open, beautiful skies. A little bit of breeze. Last time I was here there was a bit of a dew problem so hopefully the the breeze will mitigate that although the breeze should be dying off as the evening goes on. But uh, yeah, there's just a little look at the setup. Get the big daub. I also brought uh, some 20 by 80 binoculars as well. So uh, that should be pretty cool. But uh, here, this is the setup for tonight. Looking to have a lot of fun. So I'm just camping at Deer Lake Astronomy Village and I've been using the 254mm Dobsonian that I have. I've had it for 17 or 18 years and uh, it, um, when I look at the Andromeda Galaxy through it from this dark location, it's a Bortle Class 3, you can definitely see both of the dark dust bands cutting right through um, the Andromeda Galaxy on the side of M110. So it's really, it's just really cool. And then also M33, you can see, you know, spiral structure. You can even kind of see like, if you look closely, like modeling in the galaxy and stuff, like nodding. So it's, it's really awesome, uh, this dark sky site. I can't wait to point the daub at also M42, uh, the Orion Nebula, which will be coming up later. Right now I'm just capturing some data on M45. The Seven Sisters. Um, I don't know if this is going to turn out into an image or not, but I'm collecting data on that right now. And uh, as Orion comes up, my goal is to either shoot the Rosette Nebula, or the Cone Nebula, or maybe even the Orion Nebula itself from here, so we'll see. But I can't wait to see the Orion Nebula and the Daub as well as, as it gets higher in the sky, but uh, yeah, it's just really fun camping out here. I'm in the tent right now with my red light and uh, yeah, just having fun. Um, it's getting kind of chilly. It's uh, November, mid, like November 17th or so, and it's going to be like 40 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, um, maybe even the upper 30s, so it, it's going to be a little nippy. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, a lot of fun. So, oh, and I've I've got the uh, 20 by 80 binoculars, um, and I've just kind of been pointing around, looking at all kinds of stuff, and that's a lot of fun too. I, I'm glad I I picked up these binoculars. They uh, 80 millimeter aperture, 20 times magnification, and it's 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 just great. But yeah, just having some fun here at Dialic. So I currently have the 80 millimeter working the Rosette Nebula. You can see this is a look at the guiding. It's been on and off tonight. It's okay right now. Let's take a quick look at a sub. There's moisture all over the screen, so. You can't really see it too well with all the dew on the screen, but yeah, the stars look pretty good. It's been, it looks like it's been moving up uh, about the same spot. It's almost too far up on the framing. But yeah, I'm at the Deer Lake Astronomy Village and 
Work in the rosette. Ooh. Dogs or something barking out there. I have the the Dobsonian with me and I just looked at the Orion Nebula. It's just transited up there. And uh that's serious, that star there. But man, it's fascinating. And the dark sky with a large aperture. Really awesome. But uh yeah, we're gonna have an image of the Rosette Nebula from tonight. So we'll see how this turns out.